There's been a lot of confusion lately about the NFL's partial ban on participation in the scouting combine. Certain types of players based upon off-field history will not be allowed to fully participate. Now, it started as a complete ban. It's been softened to permit uh, showing up for physicals and also limited participation in interviews. But there is a standard in place, and it's caused some confusion because there's a player out there named Carl Granderson, Wyoming defensive end. He is facing charges of felony third-degree sexual assault and misdemeanor sexual battery the difference is he hasn't been convicted that is the key that will put a player on the wrong side of the nfl scouting combine ban you have to have a conviction specifically if there has been a felony or misdemeanor conviction involving violence or use of a weapon domestic violence sexual offense and or sexual assault any of those things felony or misdemeanor and you're subject to the partial scouting combine ban and here's why that makes no sense if you've had something happen recently that you did you actually did it you're responsible you're guilty but it happened so recently that they haven't been able to turn it into a conviction, you're still invited to the scouting combine. Can, consider how that compares with the NFL's personal conduct policy, which will take action against a player even if there isn't a conviction. They'll do their own investigation and come to their own conclusion. So this is just another reason why that whole rule needs to go away. As I said recently, it doesn't hurt the players. It hurts the teams. The players are still going to be evaluated. The players are still going to be drafted. This weird PR idea that not letting them come to Indianapolis, that, that isn't anything that helps the NFL. It just makes it harder to properly evaluate the players players and I don't know that there was anyone in the media or anyone among the fans saying these guys who got in trouble at some point in their past they need to be prevented from coming to the scouting combine players don't view it as an honor to be at the scouting combine it's all part of the evaluation process the sooner the NFL realizes that this isn't hurting the players that it is hurting the teams that the rules are inconsistent that it's impossible to really work this out the way they're trying to work it out maybe they'll just get rid of this scouting combine ban once and for all Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.